Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Now, last Thursday we had an invitation from Jaguar and Agora Models to go and visit their plant in Coventry uh, dedicated to the restoration, preservation and maintenance of classic cars. Now, I also knew that I was going to be looking at the prototype for the 1H Jaguar, but believe me, the day had a lot more in store than just looking at that. The day started at Jaguar Land Rover Classic Works in Coventry. This is a 14,000 square meter facility which consolidates all of its classic operations under one roof. There are 54 individual workshop bays, a dedicated engine shop and space for 480 vehicles. It also houses a massive collection of classic cars from the past, which you'll see later. I was hosted by Jaguar and Claire and James from Agora Models. Ian Campbell from Partwork Upgrades, who is also on the Agora Expert Directory, came along for the ride and we met in the affectionately called Elephant Room. The whole idea of the day was to see the prototype of the brand new 1.8 scale Jaguar E-Type that Agora models are shortly going to be releasing. It gave us a chance to see the vehicle and show you what things we have in store. Little did we know though what else was in store for us for the rest of the day. Now let me say the prototype is absolutely amazing and what I've done is I've just strung together all the footage that I've taken from the car, the petrol cap opens up, the bonnet opens up, there's a uh, boot tray or trunk tray where you lift up and you can see the actual tyres, each tyre has the individual spokes which I went round after that to take pictures of all the spokes for tyres because now we're going to have some fun with that. But remember this is a prototype and things are going to be changing, for instance the seats that you see in here are just a 3D print which is basically given a representation of the size and orientation but they are going to be replicated in the leather that the real car has. But Without further ado, let's give you a showcase of what the prototype looks like. They're completely hyped up from looking at that car, which I'm sure you'll agree looks absolutely brilliant. We had a tour of the facility. Now, all the workshop bays I couldn't film for obvious reasons that there's customers' cars in there, uh, but basically they're restoring cars in there, they're maintaining them. Uh, it was clinical, absolute clinical. I've seen dirtier operating tables. You could have ate your food off the floor in there, but absolutely amazing place. Uh, after that, we went back into the foyer where we came in, and then this happened. Yes, you're seeing that right. The prototype was made from the scanned version of the E-Type, which I'm about to get into for real. And we weren't just going around a car park. We actually went on the roads and uh, unleashed the beast, if you like to call it that. So when it come back, I'm telling you, I had goose pimples all over me. I was I was exhilarated. Uh, so much so that uh, Ian from Parkworks Upgrade, he had to have a go. And 
And then after Ian, James from Agora Models, he jumped in as well. Uh, but check out the car that this was scanned from. I've taken plenty of pictures here of it. Uh, absolutely amazing. And I just tried to get as many pictures as I can, uh, especially stuff with me next to it or in it, which is absolutely brilliant. And then I thought it would be fun that we actually put the prototype next to the car so we can see the differences in size. Now, when I do start this build, I believe it's in September, you will see more pictures of the car that I took on the day because I want them for reference for when we're actually fitting parts uh, so you can see actually where they go. But it's just exhilarating knowing that I'm going to be building a model that I've actually been in, <laughs> which is absolutely brilliant. I mean, I was so much so I was looking at the pedals. Uh, it, it wasn't until you actually have that building head on that you're looking at each individual knob, each individual dial. It's, uh, uh, it's just opened up possibilities and I just can't wait to start building this. We then got to have a tour of sort of like their back catalogue of historical cars, which I don't think is out open to the public or it used, it, it used to be open like special occasions before COVID hit, but uh, uh, it's not open at the moment. But uh, some of the cars you're going to see in there, my personal favourite I saw was the uh, Jaguar XJ220, which you'll see in this little bit of footage here. But I have done this montage video, uh, you can see, of some of the cars that they've got stashed away out in their warehouse at the back. And these have been stored to perfection. <laughs> But you know, it was like stimulation overload that day. I came back trying to comprehend the whole day. It was absolutely brilliant. And I thank, thank, thank you so much to Agora Models and for Jaguar Land Rover for making that possible for me uh, and Ian. And uh, I really do hope you like that video. And I'm hoping what I experienced on that day, uh, I've been able to share uh, with the passion that I had uh, coming out of it, believe me. But anyway, listen, that Agora Models model is going to be out in September. It is available to pre-order now. And once again, I put the link down the bottom there to the Agora Models website where you can get this. Uh, they do have a silver and a gold version as well. But probably at the time of doing this video, the gold version may have sold out. Uh, if you wanted that, you need to check their site to see if that's still available. But I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.